Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be quickly going over the TubeBuddy Search Explorer. So if you need more help when it comes to keyword research or just finding keywords for YouTube, this can certainly help you out. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave a link down below. And if you click that, you can actually get a free version of TubeBuddy. And I believe this comes with the free version. It's a little limited. For example, I think it's the related searches. You only get a few at the top and a few others are blurred out. But nevertheless, here we are. I typed in chat GPT, very hot at this time. And going over this, we have our keyword score, search volume competition the overall unweighted which is poor it says although this keyword is searched very often it is bad to target because it's extremely competitive and hard to rank for which makes sense chat gpt is probably one of the most popular things right now since sliced bread so that's a, a very accurate uh, i guess you could say overall score in my opinion also we have search volume and competition this is also just chat gpt just so you know so it's very broad and obviously going to be harder to rank for also if we scroll down we have common video tags that you can obviously utilize when it comes to creating your videos a lot of them actually which is pretty cool so let's narrow it down a little let's look at some of the related searches and what we can do is just go to chat gpt explain let's click on this and open it in a new window okay good and notice how it's around like 43 now the more it goes to the right the better so in terms of search volume this is excellent uh competition is you know around fair but compared to the other one this right here and keep in mind do take these with a grain of salt the same thing when it comes to say seo for articles i've seen keywords that have very extremely high difficulty yet they're easier to rank for and i've seen keywords that are very easy to rank for which they're not you know it goes back and forth as you do more of this you kind of get like an seo instinct is what i like to call it. you have a good idea of what you can rank for what you can't obviously depending on how many subscribers you have the visitors and traffic and so on and so forth when it comes to seo with articles that's going to be a lot with backlinks and the competition and competitors so something to keep in mind they are ballpark average but i do agree with this one once again we have some common video tags that you can utilize so the ones you see here the higher more chances you're probably going to want to use them but some of these are great like what is chat gpt so if someone is looking to explain it they're probably also wanting to know what it is how to use it how to use it what is it uh, examples can be another one a tutorial so these are all some good tags that you could utilize once again let's do chat gpt explain seven businesses or how about for dummies let's utilize this one my guess is that it's going to be a lot less competitive overall or very similar actually Okay, so I was correct there. Very good. So we do have some of the same ones. So if you'll notice, we saw this top right here. What is chat GPT and then explain. So that's very good. It talks about how it has the keyword here and what is chat GPT. That's a very good reason to use multiple keywords in your title, because if it does well, you can get ranked for multiple. And then of course you can obviously get more views, clicks and so on and so forth. So here's the four dummies one. We got very good competition is going to be excellent and search volume, not as much, which is still fine. Especially when you rank for this, we talked about how we can rank for plenty more, just kind of scrolling down and looking for other tags here that you could possibly use of course you can select them copy them to a clipboard that's going to be up to you but a lot of good ones down here that you could actually create videos for separately if you wanted to there's also some key some keyword stats here we can go over so it talks about the most views the least views uh keywords in title keywords in description so what was this one chat gpt explained for dummies so if we have it right here, you'll notice that no one actually has that specific keyword in the title. So that's a good reason to probably go after that. Not only is it very good, you know, the search volume is going to be, you know, it's tough to say there because if you're ranking for a lot of things, but in terms of competition, the overall weighted score, and we've noticed that there's no exact keyword in the title, no exact keyword in the description and no exact keyword in tags. That's very good. So that can tell you just going by it. That's probably a good keyword that you'd want to go after. In fact, I'll probably create a video about that myself. Uh, Chat BT explained for dummies, but Anyway, that's just a very quick overview of the TubeBuddy Search Explorer. It's a nice little feature, and I like the fact that at least it comes with the free version. Like I said, it is going to be limited, but what it allows you to do is kind of gauge whether you, it's a good idea to go after a keyword. And then, of course, use some common video tags that you can utilize when you create the video and then go from there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like I said, if you want to test this feature out, TubeBuddy does come with a free plan where you can test out some of their features. Even though they're limited, you know, you can at least give it a try. Thank you so much. So much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.